We bought him out of book one at the Keeneland September yearling sale. We still have some availability on him. He's from a really nice family. The da dam is, is a mare named Jenda's Agenda, and she could really run. She's already produced a graded stakes winning two-year-old at Saratoga. Not this time has been a phenom. I mean, he has six sons and daughters entered in the Breeders' Cup this weekend, and that includes next and Cogburn, who are going to be among the favorites in their respective races. You know, Shug, it was interesting. When I told when I told you that we had bought the knot this time and the fact that the Colt came from Clarkland Farm, birthplace of the likes of Beholder and Mendelssohn, and even this past weekend, Brilliant Birdie, who was born and raised at the farm and won the grade three Bryan Station at Keeneland, you know, you being a Lexington native, um, is it a big factor to you where where a horse is born? I mean, David and Gordo at times says some of these farms in Lexington almost have have magical grass. When you think of of Clarkland and Claiborne and Stone Farm, I mean, what comes to your mind at you know taking those places into account where a horse is raised? Well, starting off with not not this time himself, he was a very good good race horse. Just got beaten the Breeders' Cup and. And unfortunately, got hurt, but he's come back and kind of stamping himself as a sire. And I mean, I think he's a very exciting sire. And you know, I think he's something that um, you know, not this time is is a horse that any trainer would like to have his offspring. And I'm sure looking forward to uh, getting him getting him into our stable. And I hear you know reviews from Barry Eisman that so far so good, and he's doing well. And, and uh, you know I'm 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 excited I'm excited about uh, about having him and and uh, looking forward to next spring and you know as I say I think he's a one of the top stallions and I think he's something that uh, anybody would be happy to have all of or a piece of or whatever no matter what you know whether they bred him or what and the Clarkland Farm I, when I first started training. The horses kind of went back to Carson Farm, and you know I just know that they're very hands-on and they raise a lot of good horses, and that's what they're there to do is try to raise a good horse, and that that means a lot. I mean, they sell horses to sale because you know that's the way they got to keep their farm going. But uh, they're uh, it's a, it's a very 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 good good place to get a get a horse from and. I mean, you've heard me ask you, so well, where was the horse raised? And even if I'm at a, you know, at the sale and, you know, somebody like Eaton or one of them that, that are, that are uh, you know, taking your ones on consignment, I always like to know where the horse was raised, and that makes a big di difference to me. I mean, you bring up Claiborne Farm, you look out over – you go out there and you look out over those great big fields and full of grass and uh, you know they got it's got a history of a lot of good horses and I've had a lot of good horses that have come off that farm and you know that you know there's going to be more and more because it's not it's not crowded and they're basically trying to raise uh, not only their own horses but horses for other people to go to the races and to make good racehorses in Stone Farm with Arthur. It's just an old uh, Kentucky kind of hard boot sort of place. He raises them up. You know, I think that's a good thing, too. I think that you know, a lot of these horses are getting pampered more than uh, they need to. But, you know, that horse coming off Clark on Farm is a big plus for me. Beautiful. Can't wait. Can't wait till next spring. And again, a little little room left on him. You heard you heard from Shug himself. He's excited to be getting him.